Well, while opponents are calling on the province to put land back into the Greenbelt, the province says a review could lead to more land being put up for development. Premier Doug Ford announced a review of all Greenbelt lands, and today his new housing minister said he wants the review to be completed by the end of the year. Paul Calandra wants his ministry to come up with the parameters of the review and says it will be a fair and open process. The reality is that I, I, I've asked the facilitator to complete her work uh, by, the, by the end of the year. Uh, at that point, I will certainly make uh, the results of, of her work uh, uh, public. Uh, shovels in the ground by 2025 uh, is what my expectation is on those sites. But if they don't meet uh, the, uh, uh, the requirements under the Greenbelt Review as well, uh, as I said, the mandated Greenbelt Review, uh, then they will not proceed and we will remove those lands uh, from, uh, from the Greenbelt. The review comes after two scathing reports were, were released last month from the Auditor General and the Integrity Commissioner saying that the Housing Minister's Chief of Staff favoured certain developers over others when selecting which lands would come out of the Greenbelt. Well, for more reaction, we are joined live by official Provi provincial opposition leader Marit Stiles. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I'm sure you heard Mr. Calandra's comments earlier today. Uh, what did you make of them? Well, I mean, I think it confirmed our, our worst fears, uh, the worst fears of Ontarians, that uh, this so-called review uh, is is going to be uh, opening up uh, the Greenbelt uh, for, for more development, actually. Uh, the whole thing is shady. It's not about housing. It's not about building affordable housing that Ontarians need. And Ontarians, I would say, have absolutely no confidence in this minister or this government to get it right. Um, you know, as I said, yesterday we've had two reviews right we've had two reviews conducted by independent officers of the legislature this is completely unnecessary it's going to be a colossal waste of our time and money and i think increasingly it's very clear that it's really all designed to in fact take advantage of this moment to open up the green belt even more and that is exactly the opposite direction that we should be headed in in terms of next steps you know what do you plan to do as the opposition leader i mean obviously you've been very outspoken you've been very critical uh, we hear from mr calandra that this is going to be a public open and accountable process I is any review acceptable in your opinion uh moving forward no i mean the, the green belt process, uh, you know, there is a review that was, takes place every every number of years. We're, he's, he's reopening that process early. They're taking advantage of this moment. Um, and I think, and I think Ontarians know this, it's really about making more deals for their, their friends, right? The developers uh, that are already very wealthy, that are using this opportunity to make billions, right? Billions. And so I don't trust this government or their process. They've already shown uh, that they would break the rules uh, to suit them and their friends. And I don't think Ontarians, and that's what I'm hearing certainly from Ontarians, is this is the direction they want to go in. Uh, I've called, you know, we've got one minister now who's resigned. I've called on the government to recall the legislature. They need to do it tomorrow uh, so that we can actually return the land to the Greenbelt. Um, we need legislation to do that. We have a legislation ready to go. Uh, there's no excuse for not um, recalling the legislature now. And, and you know, by setting up this this, this ridiculous process, which is completely unnecessary. They're ignoring the results of those two reviews that have already taken place. It's very clear that we need to return the land to the Greenbelt. The previous housing minister and the premier, even you know, last week, you know, one of the things that they commented on was the fact that it doesn't matter what housing plan that they put forward, that you know, your party and the opposition members pretty much reject everything that they put on the table. Uh, what's your reaction to that? And, and if you were the premier, what would you be doing to increase housing affordability? Yeah, I can tell you one thing I wouldn't be doing is what this government is doing, because every report, including their own expert task force on housing, said, do not develop in the Greenbelt. It doesn't make sense. It's inefficient. It's expensive. It's wrong. What we should be doing is focusing on building within existing municipal boundaries. Uh, we have municipalities that I've met with that are desperate to get moving. Um, and this government is so distracted by this, this opportunity to make some deals for their friends that they're not getting the real work done. So we've put forward numerous proposals to the government, including, you know, stuff that would actually help Ontarians right now.
bring back real rent control. Uh, get back to building uh, truly affordable housing, and government has a direct role to play in that. We used to do it. Let's do it again. And then the other thing is truly inclusionary zoning. What we don't need to do is open up the green belt. This is not about building housing, and it never has been, and you're darn right we'll keep opposing it, and we'll use every tool we have uh, to stop them, because this government has proven once and for all that they are corrupt. Um, and these dirty deals, they're not going to help Ontarians, and people are feeling very left behind right now by this government. Ontario NDP leader Mart Stiles, we appreciate your time as always. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.